Hello everyone! Today I'm going to introduce you to a new notebook app. It's called Scrap Note, and in this app, you can insert YouTube videos inside your notes like this. There is a play button in the notes, and you can play the videos by tapping it, so you can write your notes or draw illustrations in the space around the video, which is an interesting feature that you can only find in this app. Today I'm going to walk you through the fun features of this app. There are two versions of this app available. One is free and the other one is paid. I think the price for the paid version is $6. I bought the paid version and to be honest, the two versions don't have much difference. As I will be showing in this video, the features that let you insert videos into your notes are available in the free version. So I recommend you download the free version first, and if you want to learn more, go ahead and download the paid version. Today I will introduce you to the features of ScrapNote and show you a guide on how to make stylish notebook. Let's get started. When you open ScrapNote, you'll see this window first just like the other note apps. When you tap the notes, it opens up like this, but what's different from other apps is that if you tap the notes with two fingers, it shows you a quick view of all the pages in the notebook. This is really useful, and so I suggest you remember this feature. In this video, I will be making a new notebook, so touch the plus button on the right, then tap create a new notebook, and choose the color of the notes. In ScrapNote, the menu tab is in the top right corner, and we'll be using it to pick the brushes, erasers, and to insert text. What's different from other note apps is that if you tap the Scrub logo in the middle, you can jump to various websites and apps where you can copy and paste web pages and videos from. It gives you several options like Web, YouTube, Vimeo, and even Evernote is available here. If you tap one of them, it takes you to the app through ScrapNote where you can browse the content of, for example, YouTube. For now, I'm going to go on YouTube to take a look at my channel. As you can see, when you do this, you can browse these videos and so pick one that you want to insert into the notebook. I'm going to choose the most popular video on my channel, which is a tutorial on iPad OS. To scrap the video onto your notebook, press the blue scrap button on the top right corner. Then it will paste the video onto your notes like this. You can move it around by dragging it with one finger, and you can change the size by pressing on the small icon in the bottom right corner of the video, and dragging it like this. There is a play button in the left corner at the bottom, and you can play the video without jumping to the YouTube app by tapping it. This feature is really cool and unique to this app. If you want to collect and make a list of videos or want to keep a bookmark of the videos you like, this app is a great option. I'm going to paste more popular videos from my channel. I think some of you might have subscribed to my channel recently, so for those of you who have, I'm going to pick 5 of my videos that I really want you to watch. The iPad OS tutorial video is a must watch, but a close second is my video on an app called Concept with an infinite canvas. In this app, there is no border for your notes, and you can keep expanding your notes. And I receive a lot of positive feedback on this video, so please check it out. If you don't want to write, you can select the textbook and type in the text. You can also choose the font, size, thickness, and color. Yeah, 
For now, I'm going to choose a thicker font, place it on the left, and increase the font size to make it a bit fancier in terms of layout. This is a video of when I went to Apple's official event, and I recommend you to watch this as well. I went to the event last fall and made a video about it. I took a selfie with Tim Cook, also with Jonathan Ive, so it was a very memorable event for me, and I think it will give you an idea of what it looks like and feels to be in an Apple Park, so I hope you watch this video too. This is the final video for the best. I used GoodNotes 4 to make a recipe note of mojito, and I made this video to walk you through the process, and this video is pretty popular too. GoodNotes 5 has been released and is available now, but you can basically do the same thing. And if you're thinking of using a note-taking app, I highly recommend you to watch this video. Okay, I'm done with the first page. By drawing some lines or illustrations around the videos, you can make original video notes, so I hope you try it out. I also made some other pages. The second one is named as Must See Procreate Tutorials. It's a collection of my favorite tutorial videos of Procreate, which is a drawing app that I really really like. I made a guide on how anyone can be able to draw properly, as well as a walkthrough of SoftBank Seminar, the recommended initial settings, and how to write stylish text. I'll leave this note in the description box, so I hope you use it to review the content. On the third page, I have some additional recommendations of videos in which I walk through some unique apps that might help you get used to working with an iPad. For example, one video is on how to use Pages, a native iOS app, to make a flyer, and in another one, I use a calculator app that automatically does calculations, which is really interesting. So I hope you watch them too. I've only taken YouTube videos through scrap notes so far, but you can also import your photos and use it in your notebook as well. You can use this to make collages of your photos. If you tap the web button, you can open up a browser and use Google search to find some photos that you want to include in your notebook. For example, I've recently been into Upshore, which is basically a massive lightning equipment, so I decided to make a scrapbook of it. These are mostly for professional use, and each of them costs around $1,000. I also bought these umbrellas as well, so my house is filled with these lightning equipment right now. I often make posts on things that I bought or how my room looks like in the iPad Make community. So if you're interested, feel free to join the community and look at my posts. In my iPad Make community, there are contents that are only available for registered users, such as special tutorials. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box. So feel free to check it out. Okay, I'm pretty much done with my notebook. I was planning to export this file, but it seems like exporting in PDF format is not available in this version. So if I export it now, it does it in JPEG format, which means the link to the videos are not going to be available. It's a bit disappointing, so I hope they fix that in future upgrades. 
but still, if you're using Scrub Note to take notes and keep track of videos to use on your iPad, this app is perfect. So if you watch a lot of videos and are looking for a way to keep notes efficiently while watching them, I highly suggest you download the free version of this app. Okay, that's all for today. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and I'll leave the links to the videos that I showed you today in the description box so feel free to take a look at them if you're interested. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.